Neil, you've spoken so much throughout the season about the character of this squad and that was firmly tested after a minute and you saw the response again. Yeah, and I think the game sort of epitomises our season. Um, how not to start a playoff final, going to go down in the first minute. Um, yeah, but I have to say the response after that, the character, the calmness in which we showed. Um, we played our way back into the game. Um, fantastic strike from Kenny. And I thought we were a better, better team first half. And a great strike again from Kenny in the second half, right foot, left foot. Um, and other than maybe one or two moments, I thought we saw the game out. And it's just been incredible, you know, incredible day, incredible season. That my my thoughts and feelings for the players just it's just overwhelming. That they're an incredible group to work with, and the support I get from the staff and from Simon, Ben, and Brett is just magnificent. And it's such a special day for everyone. You speak about that calmness. That's something that's personified all the way through, isn't it, from top to bottom? Yeah, and you know, I like to think that that's as a group, that's how we are. You know, we don't get carried away by success. We don't get too down if things go against us. We, we stick to what we, we believe in, we stick to um, the things that will get you success in the long term and that's what's got us success today, you know, we played our way back into the game, we never panicked, this group have shown they can bounce back, character, resilience and Lincoln are a really good team um, and when they're winning they're also very difficult to, to play against and score against and we've come back and won and uh, just an incredible effort and a, and a fantastic day. You mentioned Kenny Dougal before, he's picked some timely moments to start adding to his goal tally. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> he's laughing because he says I've been telling him not to shoot all season, which is it's because he was shooting from 30 yards out and not 20 today, 20, 25. Um, but, you know, left foot, right foot, like an arrow in the bottom corner. Jerry set him up beautifully for the second one. And he's going away tomorrow for, to go to um, the Australian national team. and. I hope he gets uh, an international cap, which he deserves. I know there's been many times this season where you think, what if in some games, and the automatic could have been achieved, but mm. when you're here on this Wembley pitch, you see all those supporters behind you and you yeah. have the trophy in this way, there's no better way, is there? There's no better way, there's, there isn't. Um, although, I have to say, before the game, I probably would have swapped places with Grant McCann and Darren Ferguson, I've got to say. Um, but as, after the game, you've won, there's no better way. And um, Over 46 games, we were the third best team in this division. And we've been the best team in the playoffs and we deserve to go up. Uh, it's been a fantastic effort by everybody. And I'm just absolutely delighted for the support that we've had here today, the support we've got back in Blackpool. Uh, I'm sure they'll be celebrating tonight and uh, I think we'll have a, a bit of a goal tonight as well. And this club has such a proud tradition in the playoffs. You were made well yeah. aware of it and yeah. now you've got a squad and yourself that can add the names to it. Yeah, yeah, and that, uh, that's important, yeah. Um, you know, people did make me aware of the, the history we've got and the success we've had in the playoffs. So it's just something about the playoffs in Blackpool, isn't it? Um, and yeah, we, we, we were a better team today. We, we over, you know, the Oxford games, we were a better team. We're the third best team in this division this season. And we deserve to go up. And I, I can't wait for the championship now. And I suppose the emotions are probably still a bit of a blur in the last sort of 20 minutes and all the media interviews and everything else that you have to yeah. do. But has it sort of sunk in how it feels for you, your first full season as a manager? Uh, no, not yet. Um, over the next few days it will, but I can assure you we've already been planning and looking ahead. Um, and when we get to Bloomfield Road, whenever it is August time, um, the team will be ready, the supporters will be ready and we'll, uh, we'll have something to celebrate.